today I will be sharing a new creation, a new pedal that I've made, which is a simple overdrive circuit based on the Blues Breaker. The only difference with this one is I actually designed the PCB on the inside. Now, PCB, or printed circuit board design, is something that I've recently gotten into and has really opened up a lot of possibilities with guitar effects, building pedals, and uh, just coming up with brand new things that didn't exist before. This is the board itself, and I said this was the very first one that I designed. I've, I've done a few more since this one, but uh, being the first one, I made plenty of mistakes, and, um, but it actually does work, as you heard in the intro, and the circuit itself sounds pretty good. Um, but I will go through a little bit of how I created this, the tool that I used, which is called Flux AI, and, um, and I'll tell you all about it. This video is sponsored by PCBWay, and they were the ones that manufactured these boards for me. Uh, they're a fantastic company. They have a great website that makes it really simple for uh, designing and manufacturing your PCB prototypes. They are uh, extremely responsive, have great customer service, and worked with me every step of the way to get these uh, manufactured and, and make sure that I was happy with them. Like I said earlier, the pedal itself is a simple overdrive based on the Blues Breaker circuit. It has a gain, a tone, and a volume knob, and that's it. That's really all you need. It's a very nice, light overdrive. Now, I mentioned there were plenty of mistakes that I made being the first time I designed a PCB, and one of them was that I got the potentiometer orientation backwards. I intended for the components to be showing when you open up the pedal, so like, so this would be facing up. But uh, because I wasn't thinking of the potentiometers facing the opposite way of the board when I designed it, um, I had to turn it upside down for that to work out. So that is a, uh, a lessons learned right there. All right, so PCBWay was the company that I used to manufacture the boards, but what I used to design it was something called Flux AI. I'm just gonna go to their homepage, show you what that is. So this is the Flux AI homepage, build PCBs faster with an AI teammate. Yes, so the thing that drew me to this was the fact that it uses an AI, uh, essentially a chatbot that's trained on uh, information about designing PCBs. Um, so it gives you a lot of information here, and um, but I'm gonna skip right to my overdrive design, which I have right here. Now, the cool thing about Flux AI is that it is all browser-based, so you don't have to download anything, you don't have to install anything, you just go to the page and um, and their free uh, login, their free option gives you up to five designs, I believe. So here's my profile with my uh, five projects, and then it keeps listing some examples that, that it thinks you might like. Um, and then I'll go to my Blues Breaker design. And the cool thing is you have this chat, which allows you to talk to the, the, the AI helper which I actually use this quite a bit um, when I design this, uh, mostly for uh, asking it how to do things within the Flux AI environment. Um, it really seemed to understand the point of the questions I was asking, uh, and so in that way it was really helpful. And I understand it can also answer uh, basic questions about electronics in general if you're trying to design something new. So this is my schematic for uh, the Blues Breaker. This is the power section, and then this is the main um, audio sort of processing. Uh, so the Blues Breaker is, uses a dual op amp. Uh, I think I use the TLO 72 in this particular one. Um, so it's fairly easy to drag and drop components from this left-hand menu, uh, like a ground. And then you can, as you'd expect, drag connections to different um, different components. Uh, the only thing I don't like about the current 
layout is that there's no snap to grid option, so that's why everything's a little a little bit off. It doesn't see it doesn't snap where you'd like it to, but ooh, and that's kind of weird. But uh, it does it works. That's just one gripe that I that I have about its current implementation. Maybe maybe it's something they'll add in the future. Um, so you can add code, it looks like, which I haven't, uh, gotten into. And then you have your PCB layout, um, which is here again. It doesn't have a snap. You can't snap to this grid in the background. Um, but that's something that, that I was able to work around. So here's my layout. It has my connections. This is a, a two-sided PCB, so the... See the red is probably the top and the blue is is the bottom. Um, and another cool thing is it has a built-in 3D view, which is impressive for for being browser-based. Um, so most of the components are in their library. These these big rectangle things are the potentiometers, um, but you can see everything else really well. And I was impressed that they're able to do this within within a browser. The Blues Breaker is a, a soft clipping overdrive. These right here are the, the clipping diodes, um, which create the, the overdriven sound. Now, one thing I find interesting is uh, chatting with these artificial intelligence bots. So we're going to talk to this one and see uh, just how smart it is. So I'm going to ask it, how do I design an overdrive guitar pedal? see what it says okay so I have several paragraphs it says designing an overdrive guitar pedal involves a couple of steps it requires you to have some understanding of how audio signals operate and a basic understanding of electronic circuit design this is a broad process and it goes through some steps which is pretty good So I'm going to ask it a little bit more specific. Oh, and it tells you the sources that it came from on the internet. So I'm going to ask it a little more specific of a question. Uh, how do I create soft clipping for a guitar pedal circuit? Now I've noticed it takes, um, I guess, anywhere from... 20 seconds to, to about 40 seconds for, for it to answer, which isn't too bad. It's probably going through a lot of information. All right. Uh, soft clipping is a common technique used in overdrive and distortion guitar pedals to create a warm tube-like distortion. Correct. Uh, it gives some more information. Typically uses an op amp. Also correct. Um... It lists some specific diodes, the kind that I use here. In fact, the one in 914 diodes says why. This is, I'm impressed. This is good information. It tells exactly what you should connect in what way to your op amp, how you connect the diodes. Use a capacitor in series to block any DC components of the input signal. Uh, I'm I'm impressed with this AI. This is and guitar pedals is probably not what Flex AI is mainly supposed to be used for. So somehow it's it's getting this information about uh, about guitar pedal circuits. So very cool. So after you're finished with your PCB design, uh, Flux makes it easy to export as a Gerber file, and then you use that Gerber to order your PCB from something like PCBWay. Um, now let's, let's get deep. Let's ask our co-pilot, because I always love asking AI these kind of questions. Let's see, co-pilot AI thing, what is love? It's thinking about it. I hope I don't break it. Please don't break your brain. It's reading the Flux documentation to find out what love is. Is it done? Yes. Love is a complex and multifaceted emotion. Da-da-da-da-da in popular culture. Okay, 
So it's interesting. It's like the uh, dictionary definition of love. Okay. All right, Copilot. How are you doing today? It says, as an artificial intelligence, I don't have feelings or personal experience, so I don't have a good or bad days. However, I'm here and ready to assist you. How helpful. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video about my first entry into PCB design, and I'm hoping to have uh, many more showing what I learned. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.